Imagine a world where machines could think like humans. This very idea was explored by Alan Turing, a man ahead of his time. Born in London in 1912, Turing was a mathematician, logician, and computer scientist whose work laid the foundation for modern computing. His genius was first recognized during World War II when he cracked the Enigma Code, a complex German cipher that was considered unbreakable. This feat not only helped to end the war, but also led to the creation of the first electronic computer. Turing's relentless curiosity then led him to ponder the question, can machines think? This inquiry would shape the future of artificial intelligence and give birth to the Turing test, a benchmark for AI that we still use today. The Turing test, named after him, would become a cornerstone in the discussion of artificial intelligence. So, what is the Turing test and how does it work, you might ask? Well, it's a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to, or indistinguishable from, that of a human. Devised by the brilliant Alan Turing in the mid-20th century, the test's purpose is to answer one fundamental question, can machines think? Here's how it works. A human judge engages in a natural language conversation with another human and a machine that is designed to generate human-like responses. The judge knows that one of the two partners in conversation is a machine, but doesn't know which one. If the judge can't reliably tell the machine from the human, the machine is said to have passed the test. So, in essence, if a machine can convince a human that it too is human, it passes the Turing test. It's about deception, yes, but it's also about understanding and mimicking human-like intelligence. Why is the Turing test so important in the field of AI? This question leads us to the heart of the matter. The Turing test isn't just a measure of whether a machine can imitate human intelligence, it's a benchmark that guides AI research and development. It's a challenge thrown at the feet of every AI developer. Can you build a machine that thinks like a human? The Turing test has a profound significance in the field of AI. It sets the stage for the ultimate goal of artificial intelligence, to create machines that don't just mimic human-like intelligence, but possess it. The Turing test has spurred countless AI advancements, pushing the boundaries of machine capabilities. It's the motivation behind the pursuit of more sophisticated AI, driving advancements in machine learning, natural language processing, and cognitive computing. In essence, the Turing test is the Everest of artificial intelligence, a peak that remains the ultimate challenge for AI to conquer. The Turing test sets a benchmark for AI, a challenge for machines to attain human-like intelligence. Did you know some AI have claimed to pass the Turing test? But not without controversy. Take Eliza, for instance, a program developed in the mid-60s. This chatbot mimicked human conversations so well that many users believed they were interacting with a real person. Yet critics argued Eliza merely manipulated pre-programmed responses, lacking any understanding of the conversation. Similarly, Perry, another AI, was hailed for convincingly simulating a person with paranoid schizophrenia. Still, the same criticisms arose. Was Perry truly intelligent or just cleverly programmed? These debates expose a key controversy. Does passing the Turing test signify genuine intelligence or just sophisticated mimicry? Furthermore, some critics question the test's validity altogether, arguing it rewards deception over understanding. It's a complex issue, with no clear answers. Yet these debates only add to the intrigue surrounding the Turing test. Despite these controversies, the Turing test remains a significant milestone in the AI journey. Is the Turing test flawless? Not quite. Let's explore why. The Turing test, while revolutionary in its concept, has its fair share of limitations. One major critique is known as the Chinese Room Argument. This thought experiment, proposed by philosopher John Searle, suggests that a machine can appear to understand a language, say Chinese, by responding appropriately to input, but without truly comprehending the language. It's like a person in a room, following instructions to respond to Chinese characters they receive, without understanding a word of Chinese. This highlights a key limitation of the Turing test. It may measure a machine's ability to mimic human-like responses, but not its genuine understanding or consciousness. Furthermore, critics argue that the Turing test can encourage deception. A machine might be designed to mislead the interrogator into thinking it's human, rather than genuinely demonstrating human-like intelligence. This could result in a paradox where a less advanced AI passes the Turing test by being better at deception, while a more advanced AI fails because it doesn't need to deceive. So what are the alternatives? One notable example is the Winograd Schema Challenge. Instead of focusing on deception, 
This test assesses a machine's ability to understand and resolve ambiguity in language, a key aspect of human intelligence. While the Turing test has its flaws, it has paved the way for more comprehensive AI evaluation methods. As we look to the future, what role will the Turing test play in the evolution of AI? There's no denying that artificial intelligence has come a long way. As we advance further into the 21st century, it's likely that more and more AI will pass the Turing test, blurring the lines between human and machine intelligence. This doesn't necessarily mean that AI will fully understand or experience human consciousness, but they may become indistinguishable in conversation. This prospect raises profound implications for our society. If an AI can convincingly simulate human conversation, how will this affect our interactions? Would we trust AI with tasks that require empathy, like healthcare or counseling? And what about the ethical considerations of creating machines that could potentially experience emotions or consciousness? There are no easy answers to these questions. As we continue to develop AI, we must also confront these ethical dilemmas and strive to create guidelines that respect both human dignity and the potential of AI. Many AI experts believe that the Turing test remains an important milestone in the evolution of artificial intelligence. While it may not be the ultimate test of AI's capabilities, it has undeniably shaped our understanding of what AI can achieve. It's a reminder of how far we've come and an inspiration for how much further we can go. As with any journey, the path of AI is filled with challenges and opportunities. The Turing test, though imperfect, has undeniably shaped this journey and will continue to influence the future of AI.